Hi, this is Kathy. I'm going to show you another album that I finished. This is very similar to my sweet pink rose um, one page um, pocket album. This one is ivory with a little bit of rust colored um, writing. And this is just called, I'm calling this one my, um, my Jardin de Flores. Anyway, I started out covering the, the, um, cover with some quick quote paper. And, um, I added some ivory bling, which I got from its recollections. Also, again, I used the knob and the hair tie closure. I seem to like this one a lot. Um, and I got some tool, ivory tool, wrapped a little bit of ribbon around it, and then twisted it in three areas, and then placed it on the album. And in front of each one of those twists, I added a prima flower to it. Um, each one of the flowers are a different color, kind of matches my little tag that says Garden de Flores and that's where I get, got my name from and added a little bit of a charm and a couple of um, ribbons. I didn't go over, overboard with the ribbons. It is bound with the um, Bind It All but I actually covered the Bind It All with um, some sticky back canvas and the sticky back canvas actually, um, I love this product. It is from, um, the, it's called um, the Claudine Helmuth Studio sticky back canvas. It comes in white and in natural. In its front, it's a Ranger product. Uh, this product is so versatile. You can stamp on it. You can cut it. You can distress it, color it, ink it, paint it, just about anything you can imagine with in the art world you can do with the sticky back canvas. Well I use that to cover the bind it all to just make it look a little more clean um, sitting on the shelf. And I did nothing else to the back um, of the album. So with that let's go ahead and get started. These five page pockets um, are, is very similar to my Sweet Pink Rose. I use the same paper. This paper I have no idea who's by, just from my stash. I, I only knew what the, the outside came from because I got that recently. And here's a couple tags. These are Stampin' Up, um, I mean Cuddlebug and Sizzik tags. And I put that in the first pocket. We open this one up. And again, I use the lace edging on this entire album. That's a Martha Stewart punch. Here's a tiny tag that I distressed all the edges, did a little flourish to the side. This is a one note. Um, I put paper on it and then stamped it and distressed the edges, but it's a tr I stamped a, a tr Tim Holtz stamp on it. Here's a tag, a larger tag here on the end, place for a photo, journaling on the back. The flower is from, as a Prima uh, flower. Then we flip open this front and I added bling to the top, um, some pearls, and this is um, a lattice a die cut from Stampin' Up. I placed a tag behind it. Uh, pulling on the on the other tag. It's like, oh god. Then I just added a little bit of um, flourish to it. You could put a photo on the back or a photo just underneath the lattice. And this this has a pocket back behind the um, this pocket and I did the um, masking technique of Tim Holtz on this one. It was kind of fun. This was a flower journaling on the back, pearls down the side, 
and this tag um, I topped with a butterfly and I stamped it with flourish and then glossy accented over it. I also used glossy accents on the very end of the tag. I don't know if you can see that. And at the top, just to make it a little bit more sturdy as we pull it um, out of the, um, the album, just makes it a little stronger um, tag that way. And then, I, okay, then we flip the page over. Oops, went too far. And the, okay, this side, I didn't put bling on this this little pocket. Just added a little wooden heart. And then a couple of more tags. These also from Sizzix. This one is from Stampin' Up. It's called Tiny Tags. I stamped a little saying on the back of that. And then as we open it up, oh, you'll notice also that each one of these corners, um, I actually used a punch, Martha Stewart punch that is a spider web. But it looked, I didn't think too bad for, because you see spider webs in a, in a, in a garden. So I thought I was just, I was just playing around with this and that's what I came up with. Open it to a journaling spot and a nice photo mat. Um, on the end here is another tag. Did some distressed stickles on the flourish with a tiny flower. And um, I did a saying on the back is for journaling. Mm -hmm. And this flower is actually an acrylic flower. The center is a larger bead. And then I just added a little ribbon to it. Then we open this up and it opens up into two large mats. This one, top one has um, some recollection pearl bling. This is a Tim Holtz saying, enjoy the journey. This is a cuddle bug um, punch, but it embosses as well as um, punches and cuts at the same time. Then down here is, um, I use on both of these photo mats, I use the um, Tim Holtz technique. Use several different um, colors and tried to blend it cut together. Then these are some roses that just came out of my stash. I believe they're recollections. One of them might be just I Am Roses. And then I just put a little tag on it. So it's just Inspire. And that's we, and then the third, second um, pay, uh, five page pocket actually started out with some bling again and the p spider punches. This has a Tim Holtz um, stamp, a bingo, and a place for a photo or journaling. This is Cuddlebug. You can add journaling or a photo to it. Open this up and it has um, butterflies. Um, this one is just, I did not distress the ends, I just added the paper and then stamped the flourish over it and then used the glossy accents on both. This one I distressed the edges. On this butterfly you'll see it's got a couple of little, I'm not even sure what they're called, but you see these a lot in bride bouquets and stuff, but I just add them as my feelers for um, the bird. Uh, Sorry, the butterflies. Then this is um, tags. Uh, this uh, cuddle bug again. This is a Tim Holtz, um, and his is called the hanging sign. I actually have it hanging off of some silver chain, and uh, stamped um, two friendships is seen through the heart, not through the eyes. And this chipboard heart has. I distressed it and then I used um, a stamp and then used glossy accents like I did the rest. This tag has a Prima flower and I actually used two different distress inks on the large and then the small with a little glittered brad in the center. Um, the tag um, has journaling on the back and it says cherish the moment. Sometimes I think we need to cherish the moments a little, a little more frequently. 
And then we open it up and I fussy cut this butterfly out of some paper. The punches were corner punches by Martha Stewart called Pansies, Pearl, Pearl in each center. Down here I was playing with different um, chandeliers, but the hand was pointing this way. This is what's more important, not the chandeliers. It's the things you have in your pockets. Um, just made some tags, used different punches for the ends, make it a little different. And this is um, from Quick Quotes. Uh, I got at a reserve that I went to and it was supposed to be in one of our pages but I didn't use it but I thought I would here it says it's the sweet simple things in life which are the real ones after all and they glittered it in copper glitter on the back you could add journaling your own journaling and then on this inside pocket here is another just another tag um, or this could be a mat for a photo journaling on the back or photos on each side um, would look really nice there too. And on this side of the pot five pocket page we have a little bling. Um, I cut it up, kind of made it look a little different. Tags, this is a little um, bling. I used a um, little um, satin ribbon. Here's a um, tiny note tag from Stampin' Up. It's all in perspective and enjoy the journey. Um, I think Tim Holtz has the most fabulous stamps uh, for vintage. Um, I just love his stamps. Some days I think I was born in the wrong era but then again I wouldn't have all, all my fun scrapping so maybe I am. And this opens up and it has a top note with Tim Holtz saying on the end I have another tag just with a, a ribbon pull. This has a flourish. Um, I use dis distressed um, brown and, and yellow straw to make the designs for this one. Um, it was fun. A little small for journaling though. I'd probably put a tiny photo in there or something else. And then um, this closes up and it opens up to our last large page. This is again the lattice. What I did with the lattice is I used distressed um, crackle paint and then I distressed the top of it. I actually put some acetate behind so it wouldn't catch um, your photo or the tag. Here is a heart with distressed on the sides with a little bit of stamped flourish on it. Down below here I got these large flowers from the Quick Quotes Reserve. This is a Sizzix bird die cut with the flowers. I went ahead then and I put the flat, uh, paper on the bird and then I just went ahead and stamped over the entire bird and flowers. And then I added them together and that's kind of the end of um, my second um, garden ivory book. Um, again, I thank you for watching. Have a great evening.